Morning everybody. Uh, we're here on a glorious autumn morning at the Witchcliffe Eco Village. I'm in the demonstration gardens at the moment. We've had some wild weather over the last week, but the sun's shining today. Um, my name's Mark Tupman. I'm managing a lot of the horticulture projects here at the Eco Village. I've been here just over a year. And where I'm sitting right now was just a patch of kaikuyu grass before, and we've, we've now turned it into a thriving biological garden. Uh, this whole garden is managed organically, so everything that we've done is, is an organic management practice. Um, I'm sitting on some weed mat, which we used initially to deprive the kaikuyu that was growing here of sunlight for a couple of months, and that killed it. Following on from that, we planted what I call a diverse cover crop. Uh, it has lots of different species of fast-growing green plants. We've got grasses, we've got some legumes here, which help with nitrogen fixation, a few broadleaf plants, and they all work really well together and they, they do a great job catching sunlight and turning it into energy that feeds the biology in the soil. They also grow really densely so they smother out all the weeds and the roots um, also help with structuring the soil. They leave channels for air and water and all that sort of stuff. Another thing that we did was make some really good quality compost and we use that compost when we plant seedlings or seed. It's full of uh, a lot of microbes that are really beneficial and, and that kind of inoculates the roots as soon as they get going and it's also full of great growing compounds for the plants so they get off to a really healthy start. So the purpose of these demonstration gardens is to provide a working example and to collect information so that we can assist people when they're starting their own gardens within the exclusive use garden areas. We're collecting information like how much area it takes to feed, well, for fresh produce for a family, uh, the sort of how this, things you can grow in this climate and all the methodologies about how to get your soil going and all that sort of stuff. We also plan to sort of assist people with workshops and uh, we're saving a lot of seed. So really this is just a launch pad to help everyone else get their thing going. <laughs>